Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. I uh, hope everyone's had a great week so far. Uh, been able to spend some time with the family and hopefully been able to get some good bench time in. Uh, which reminds me, it's time for another bench talk. A uh, couple things on this one, guys. I got uh, another classic kit. I got to say it's one of my all-time favorites, so I'm looking forward to sharing that one with you. Uh, I got a quick update on uh, my wife's 68 Beetle. Uh, made some good progress on it. However, one step forward, two steps back, usually the way it works for me. I uh, had a little mishap with the paint, uh, but nothing we can't handle. So we'll go over that in just a little bit. Uh, but first things first, got a shop card here uh, from Kevin over at Kevin's Scale Modeling. Very, very cool uh, build there of the Chase Elliott number nine Napa car. I believe that's a J.R. Salvino's too. Uh, very nice kits. Uh, so if you guys haven't uh, been over there, check out Kevin. Uh, get over there, check out his channel. Uh, got a lot of uh, a, a good variety of builds going on. Uh, working on, uh, I know his most recent build, I believe, is that uh, 60 Ford. Uh, doing it in the golf and the, that golf livery. Uh, so that's coming along really nice. Uh, Kevin, appreciate the words on the back uh, very much. Uh, thanks for sending the card. Uh, and guys, if you haven't uh, been over there to check him out, uh, there's an email there. Uh, so just go over and give him a like. I think the last time I checked, I think he's, uh, I think he's actually pushing 200 subs. So uh, if you would, uh, go over there, uh, check his channel out and give him a sub, give him a like, all the good stuff. And uh, tell them Eric sent you. Uh, so once again, Kevin, thank you for the shop card. I appreciate it, buddy, uh, uh, very much. So we're going to slide this one back here. And uh, we're going to move this. Uh, oh, one more thing real quick, guys. I did forget this. Uh, another show coming up. Now, I'm more than likely not going to be able to go to this one. Uh, just uh, finances and scheduling and thing right now. Uh, just not going to permit me to go. Uh, but this one is for coming up on no uh, Saturday, November 2nd. So it's coming up here pretty quick. Uh, this is the Carbs Fall Fest uh, in Dayton, or actually Fairborn, Ohio. You get uh, 326 East Dayton, Yellow Springs Road in Fairborn. Uh, I've heard that's a really nice show, though one of these days I, something always keeps me from going down to that one. I know i got a couple guys uh, been after me to get down there, so one of these years uh, I'm sure I'll make it down there. But uh, if, if you're in that area, Dayton, Ohio area, uh, roundabout, go down check it out. I hear they've always got a nice... Uh, got a nice show going on down there I'm, I'm sure a nice swap meet and all and all the like so if you got a chance guys saturday november 2nd 2024 in fairborn carbs fall fest so i wanted to give that uh put that out there too uh now let's take a look at this uh let's take a look at this classic kit guys uh one of my favorites now i've had these on the channel matter of fact you know we're building a custom one right now uh but i've got a special uh special connection uh, I want to say to this box art especially. Uh, now this actually is the one of the other ones that I saw at the Salinas swap meet. I um, actually pointed it out in the video, and I did. Uh, I couldn't let it just sit there. I had to go back and get it. Uh, Fifteen bucks for it, guys. So not a bad deal right there. Now this box art, uh, this box art according to Scale Mates, uh, was night from 1984, and I really, really love this style of box art, guys, because this is about the era that I really, that I really, really started building. Uh, I started getting more model kits for my birthday and Christmas and things like that coming along. Had a paper route, uh, so I'd go get a kit uh, here and there. Uh, so really, really like this box art. So uh, what are we going to do? Uh, like we always do, we're just going to take a walk around it first before we open it up. So uh, this was a three-in-one kit. Uh, I have three options, uh, stock, custom, and drag. Uh, it is in 125th scale. AMT Ertl 57 Ford. I uh, just I always like that box art there, guys. That blue with the uh, with the white wheels and the and the beanie caps or those uh, yeah the beanie caps. Uh, so just just really really nice looking the way they did that. Uh, and as we look around here, now we got a couple pictures here. There's one with uh, the optional engine there, uh, stacks velocity stacks on there, uh, and then the picture of the bottom. Go along and see optional decals you got for it, and just mainly mainly pictures of the custom there on the side. And then, of course, as always, same box art usually on the side is on the top. And then over here uh, just tells you your uh, molded in color, chrome parts, stock tires, drag slicks, so on and so forth. And uh, if it's, I don't think these had a year 
on these boxes, but uh, according to Scalemates, this box art was released in 1984. And again, same thing on the end. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this open here real quick. Now it is not complete. I have been through there. Uh, it looks like a lot of the uh, custom parts, uh, a lot of the custom parts have been taken from it, but it, if one wanted to build it, it is all there uh, to build as an original, original style kit. But the uh, instructions still really good shape. So just uh, good old classic, classic AMT instructions. There's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of different steps to this. Uh, pretty pretty fun kit to build. This was always tricky here though. I thought guys on these doors that open, getting these hinges on there uh, without getting glue actually to where the doors wouldn't open or close, whichever way you had them positioned when you put them on. Uh, so so just again, run through the instructions here. The chassis assembly there. And a couple different interior options there, different seats. That little plush animal down there that a lot of them had. And then uh, here is actually, this was one of the eras that actually still had this custom roll pan in it. Some of the later ones then uh, did not have that. And then the most recent flashback version, actually, they went back to putting this custom rear pan in, which is what I used on the custom one. So, and then they're just your final assemblies there. A couple different uh, custom front end options and everything so so that's pretty cool instructions still really nice shape and then here that is molded in a blue kind of a bluish green color i guess the lights here make it look like a blue blue but it is kind of an aqua maybe type color uh, so that's pretty neat now somebody's gone in here already these would have had posts right here in case you wanted to use the bucket seats that came with it uh, but they've just shaved those uh shave this post off so somebody's been in the kit already which is cool because everything else there to make it original is there uh, i may not i may not opt to build this kit uh, as i just leave it for nostalgia's sake but uh, you never know you got a kit laying around you get an idea uh you just tear into it and start coming up with something new so there's a nice chrome tree and i've said it many times i'll say it again guys not 100 percent complete review we're just taking a quick look there's some more chrome parts. Had chrome differential in this one. I remember that from back in the day. And then uh, just a lot of these other parts are, some are off the tree, some are on the tree. Uh, so we'll just go th look through there. There's your custom, some custom headlight treatment there. There's your doors and door panels, all still on the thing. And the decal sheet, believe it or not, is actually not that bad a shape. I wouldn't be surprised. You might potentially even be able to use some of those, uh, even as old as they are now. But then again, you got, uh, now this come with several different steering wheels from different kits. Uh, so there are a couple little extra 57 Ford pieces in there, but uh, everything to do an original version uh, is, is all in there. So I just thought that was so cool, guys. I had to have it. Like I said, if nothing else, for the nostalgia sake of it, uh, and, and this being the era, uh, that I really, really started getting into building. Um, I remember getting this this one actually particularly. Uh, now that one that I built, uh, I actually ended up turning it into a. Uh, I actually ended up turning it into a uh, junkyard car. So it's it's in one of my dioramas I have now. But here's now here's another one from the era molded in color. Uh, maybe a paint if you wanted to paint right over the plastic, but if you throw some primer on there, generally generally not too bad uh to get the color that you want so that's it guys uh amt Ertl 1957 ford so that was a cool to get that and i did forget one thing else guys see if i don't write stuff down i forget it kevin also sent me a sticker so kevin thank you for that buddy i appreciate that that's awesome we'll try to find a prominent place here on the uh on the bench to put it where we don't get uh some kind of chemical on it and uh and take all the color off of it so there's that so we'll put that right up there and uh, moving on next uh, my wife's bug that i've been working on for her i did get the chassis and everything interior pretty much done i did have this hand grip uh, actually fell off dash so i got to put that back on but uh there it is guys uh got the interior all done got the flocking on the seats got some flocking on the steering wheel and even actually found a little flower I put the little flower vase in there. I know how easy it's going to be to see. I put a little flower in it there. And I got the dash cluster gauge. And if you can see that, 
I got the CD player with a CD uh, sticking out of it, ready to ready to listen to some tunes and roll down the road. So, uh, but all that's uh, all that's pretty much done there. Uh, there's the bottom of the chassis. Just kept it pretty basic, general, like it's a it's a restored driver. I do. You know what? I do still have to paint that horn. I keep forgetting about that that because I put that in after the fact. So, but anyway, there's the interior. So that's the good part. And then uh, the body. I ended up, I did have it painted, as you can see, uh, but I had it setting on a uh, on a piece of PVC in the in the uh, spray booth, and I went to pick it up, and instead of getting my fingers around it, I bumped it, and it fell back into my filter, which uh, had some crud on it, and um, messed the top up. So uh, I just decided, being it was acrylic like that, water-based, uh, it wasn't going to wet sand too well, so I just decided to strip it. We're going to start over. So that's that. Uh, this will be the color. And I got a little nick here, so I'm going to have to repaint that as well. I, I guess I, I don't know. It's still early on, guys. I mean, I like the way the color's coming out, uh, but I guess it's still early on. So I'm not sure that I'm a huge fan yet of the Createx paint. Uh, I still have to make a decision on that. Got to decide uh, because I'm so used to using the automotive uh, acrylic enamel. Uh, that I use uh, the fast dry, uh, so but there's the uh, that would be the engine cover there. Uh, so I'm gonna give it some time, guys. It's a learning. It's a it's a learning uh, learning game for me. Like I said, with not not using that type of paint in the past. So uh, we'll give it some more time. I'm gonna. I got actually got this kind of like pre mixed. So pretty much all I got to do is just put it in my cup and uh, and go ahead and spray that out, and we'll see. Get this uh, all wet sanded back out again. Uh, get it primered, and then we'll uh, we'll start over on the paint, and then I'll give you an update again uh, whenever I get that far along. So uh, that's pretty much all I've got for today, guys. Uh, now, once again, Kevin, thank you for the shop card. It's so awesome. I appreciate that. And guys, I promise uh, one of these days, uh, because of my bench area out here uh, is being the way it is, I have not got a prominent place yet for all you guys shop cards and i appreciate all the shop cards you've sent me and i would like to get a spot where i can display them and have them up uh, uh when i do my videos so uh i'll work i'll try to get something worked on that but i appreciate all the shop cards uh i do have some left of mine if you guys would like a shop card uh just send me uh give me an email right there uh you'll always find it in the uh channel description and the description of each video uh with my email so if you want to email just uh uh Shoot me an email there and we'll get you our shop card. If you want my shop card, I'll get it, guys. It's getting late. I'm going to make it through this, I promise you. Uh, now, one thing else, if anybody is still waiting on a shop card, you've not got a shop card yet, please, please send me an email and let me know that and I will be sure to get one out to you. I try to always get right on that. Sometimes things get caught up in the mix and I don't always remember to get them out. I think I've got everybody caught up, but if I have not, please let me know and I will get one uh, out to you just as soon as possible. So with that one, guys, I think that's it. Uh, before I stand here and uh, fumble over my words and make an absolute fool of myself, uh, we're going to close this one on out. So once again, Kevin, I can't thank you enough. Appreciate the shop card and uh, put the bug in here as we get ready to close this thing out. So uh, I probably missed something, guys. I probably missed something. Uh, if I did, we'll get it next time. All right, guys, I'm done yakking. So uh, if you like the video, please go give me a like, share, subscribe, and comment, all the good stuff. So until next time, this is Eric from Eric's Model Garage saying you guys have a great day. God bless you, and happy modeling.